Good evening everyone and uh, welcome to the stream. So it's a uh, Thursday and uh, we have a flight here from uh, Georgetown in uh, Guyana or as something and uh, we fly to uh, Willemstad in um, Curaçao. So that's our uh, flight flight time 1 hour and, and 59 uh, minutes. So pretty long. No aviation uh, hey welcome to the stream hope you are doing fine and uh, thank you for uh, joining and uh, we have also peter and we now on tv hello all welcome uh peter hope you are doing fine and so uh, we fly to uh, we fly with a uh, suriname airways a company that is uh, not active anymore um at least that my uh, latest information and uh, we fly this pmdg 737-700 so that's the plane that you uh, see in front of us. I will put the webcam on. And there we go. Hope you can see me. Noah, um, I'm fine now. How is uh, your day? My day is fine, mate. Um, yeah, everything is uh, fine uh, with me. And uh, I'm glad to hear that you are fine as well. Alba Pino, Hotel Echo li uh, Lima Lima, um, Oscar from France. Uh, cheese and wine as usual with uh, peanuts. Thank you very much mate. Hope you are doing fine and uh, I'm happy to see you No, uh, uh, salut uh, Yeah, and then uh, Alvapino uh, coming friend uh, Starting my sim. All right. All right Good night. Hello all uh, welcome good night. I hope you are doing fine and thanks for joining as well So a very good evening uh, to everyone so hope we have a, a nice flight the weather is nice um as mostly and uh, we are flying the pmdg so what can go wrong everything so um uh, we gonna board everything uh, or everyone we will start with that david what's your uh, login um do you mean my uh, account name that's uh old bandit 009 I needed to think uh, for a second, <laughs> but it's old bandit uh, zero zero and nine. That's uh, the one. I'm on the West uh, Europe uh, server, I believe. So we go to a GSX and then uh, we try to board uh, everything. Boarding requested. So Able there's. Board crew? Of course, we need to board a crew. That's uh, obvious. So, boat. Crew bus is coming. Yeah, night. I had an update about 600 megabytes. Of what it's about? Yeah, uh, every day I have an update as well. Every time when I start the simulator, it's uh, updating. I'm not sure if that is a good thing because I think it's uh, just always the same update. I'm not sure. But uh, it's already from the last update. Uh, since then, we have every day uh, an update, or every time I, I start it up, I have an update. So I don't know uh, what is uh, a new, what they do. It didn't happen before. Eddie, hello, hello, welcome to the stream. Hope you are doing fine. And uh, Noah, uh, the airport is amazing at uh, Georgetown. Well, this is a standard um, airport, comes with a simulator. I didn't check for any uh, freeware, I believe, um, or payware, but um, yeah, this is the standard one. As you can see. So our crew a bus is coming. Joel Johnson, welcome to the stream, mate. Uh, whoa, welcome, welcome. Hope you are doing fine, mate. So I'm glad to see you here. And John Roberto, uh, cheers to everyone. So you are in drinking uh, beer. So the pilots are uh, here, so they will uh, go to the airplane. Oh. There we go. So a pilot and number one. And there is a second one. So we wait until the pilots are on board and then we can uh, prepare the aircraft uh, for a departure. 
So yesterday we had some uh, troubles with the uh, A310. Uh, I was not familiar with that. Uh, the second flight that I did with it. So. Starting. All right. And so uh, first of all, we uh, turn on ground power. Oh, that's off. So that's on. And I'm very happy to uh, fly this bird again. So we go. Um, batteries is on. Emergence uh, exit lights on. Then we go to the adhers. So align, align, and then we wait until the light goes to, to align. Then we go to nav. And there we go. All right. So that is that, and we turn on a one half fuel pump because that we also need. Anti collision a light on, logo light on. There we go. No, uh, I love the airport who have not a bridge. Okay. Nice. Or uh, to go uh, the plane. Oh, you mean um, the jetway? So we need to do everything with the stairs. Yeah. Your cruiser bus is coming. Alright, so we see that the crew is uh, in the plane. We see a lady standing there. Normally we see also that one in the back. So, uh, yes. I like the stairs as well, uh, Noah. So that's uh, very nice. So we go to the FMC. We still have no EFB. So, uh, FMC... And then we go here. Our airport code is um, S Epsilon CG. There we go. And uh, the gate, I don't know. Never look at it. So uh, we copy this one. We paste it here. And then uh, that is fine. So then the origin, we put that in. And then we do the flight request. We have our um, flight here, origin and destination, 747 and nautical miles is our uh, flight today. We select that, we request and then uh, we need to load. Noah, what's your uh, favorite airport? Um, that's a difficult um, question. I like I like more the smaller airports than the bigger ones. Um, Passengers boarding starting. Of course, if you need to wait uh, a long time, um, then I prefer Dubai because everything is open day night uh, seven on seven. Uh, no matter what time you arrive there, everything is open, and so I like that. Dubai, yes, it's a nice airport. Um, just for that, but there are other smaller airports that I, I like as well. I like just the the, the smaller airports, as so uh, yeah. But I can I cannot not give uh, one one yeah one exact uh, airport. There are so many. But one of the airports that I like uh, is the one from uh, Puerto Princesa. Um, that's in the Philippines. A very nice airport. It's a small airport, but uh, they've made it or renovated or made a new one after I uh, was the last time there. So. <laughs> no, uh, oh, uh, good for me. Uh, it's uh, Tahiti. Uh, oh, okay. I was never there before, but. Uh, Uh, Peter, uh, strange again, can't come online. Oh, that's a, a bummer. Oh, and we see a lot of people and they put their head here. So the doors are a bit uh, low. So the people are a bit big <laughs> or something. Um, yeah, that's a bummer. And who is this uh, next to me? Who is that? Because I saw on Volanta, nobody is on Volanta. Mm -hmm. So, before it was another plane uh, with a real livery. Actually. So, um, the runway is a 06, I believe. 
And there we go. And then our flight number. That's also what we need. Flight number. So uh, check again. Um, the runway that was a zero 06. That's correct. And then uh, SLM. SLM. And then uh, a zero 0112. And then we put that uh, flight number is right here. And then we can activate that. And execute. And that's in. So we go uh, to the uh, next one. And that is uh, for later. That's our uh, flight plan here. So Peter, uh, yeah, it's strange that you cannot come online again. Um, it's uh, weird. Cruising altitude is uh, 340. So uh, 34,000 feet. Noah, uh, for play in uh, Microsoft Flight uh, Simulator, uh, is, is it uh, difficult? No. Um, well, in the beginning it's difficult for everyone, uh, I believe. Uh, if you're very new to um, planes, then it's difficult. Yes, but if you start up with the general aviation, it will be uh, fine. Uh, you can learn from there. And then if you want to go to airliners, then you start with Airbus um, A320. Just start with that. It's the, in my eyes, the most easy um, jet or um, passenger airplane that uh, there is. It's very simple. Um, I think the hardest thing that is the FMC or the MCDU. So in the Boeing, it's the FMC. In the Airbus is uh, MCDU. So this thing here, uh, that's the, I think the most difficult thing. Starting up an aircraft like the Air A320 is very easy. Just uh, watch some uh, YouTube uh, videos and um, you see that one, two times and, uh, and you do it at the same time in the simulator and it will be fine for starting up the plane. This is yeah, a bit more complicated. Peter, what server are you? Uh, West uh, European. And that's uh, the server where I am. Hello, Pino. Thanks, sir. No problem. Okay, okay. For uh, Noah. So, yeah. If you want to uh, learn, um, yeah, just watch what I'm doing. Um, if you fly the A320, watch it. Um, but this is... It's very simple in the, in the A320. The Boeing is a bit more difficult. So we can put our uh, route in. And already I need to think uh, how we need to do that. <laughs> Departure is a 06. There we go. And that's a direct. So execute. And no uh, other thing to do. We go back to index. And then we go to TNCC. That's our arrival airport. And um, that is a runway. I need to check. 11. So we have ILS. And we take that. I never use that. But uh, we take it anyway. And then we need to go to... Uh, it's also a DCT. Oh. Alright. Why we have a DCT? Strange. So Simbrief give me uh, two DCTs, but we have a, a PGG. Can select that. We can try it out. Uh, it will probably mess up everything. Karin Davis, a uh, morning from Christchurch, and New Zealand, Friday, uh, the second December, and twenty-two. So a very good uh, morning for you. Hope you had a wonderful night, and uh, thank you for joining. No, uh, I play only Infinite uh, Flight and I uh, want to play uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator because Infinite Flight is uh, less realistic. Um, yes, but um, you need a good PC uh, for it, uh, for Microsoft. And uh, when, if you have that, then it will be no problem. You can learn uh, along the time. There's uh, so much to discover. So... Uh, I will go for Microsoft Flight Simulator as well. So we execute here and then we uh, check our um, flight plan. So we do that. 
right here we go to plan and then we put this on 40 so we go uh, direct to um, cable and then we do a step a step and now we see our uh, flight plan so far is so good but I uh, expecting some troubles I hope not of course so we have uh, on DCT no on discom and then uh, we need to uh, put it a bit closer <laughs> all right that already uh, looks like a mess Peter uh, I'm online but can't come in the group Well, you don't need to come in the group, you need just... Oh, and what is that here? <laughs> Alright. So, uh, you just need to go to the airport. Um, if you are in the West European server, uh, you need, just need to go to the airport and then normally uh, you should be here. Um, those guys uh, probably have um, a freeware or a payware um, airport. And that's why they are hanging here. Elliot, um, welcome to the stream. Hope you are doing fine uh, and that you are doing better than the days before. And Karen, I'm um, uh, good. Um, okay. So we have uh, problems. So I need to uh, find it out. So uh, just give me a, a minute to see what um, is going on here. Stop. And I go actually a backward. So FF11, that's what I need to find. So I try to catch all the messages um, after, but at first I need to um, find out this. plan okay so I found FF11 so I know where we come from and from there we go to Tabib Tabab no clue where that is Tabab oh, okay there we have that as well so that actually seems to be fine from there we go to PI um, PI where is PI No clue where that is. PI. No, I can uh, not find that thing. So this um PGG. I just think I need to uh, go back because those things are uh, messing up. We don't need to be here. So we go back to our uh, departure, arrival. And that is not what I need. Uh, arrival here. Okay. then we try to execute and then we go back to the next page and then we um, stop we have still that thing here so we're gonna uh, clear the discon Let's see what that gives And then also I uh, clear that uh, and delete this uh, PGG. And then we place this one right here. And we'll see what that gives. Step.
Actually, I don't understand it because uh, it's so weird. So you put it back on 40. So my f uh, complete flight plan is messed up. So once again, back to otherwise I just need to do it manually because uh, this is uh, a mess. So departure, arrival, runway 11, maybe we can uh, put something else in. Come back here. Execute. That's working. Lex. And then uh, Umbus, we put that here, execute, step. Alright, so my uh, flight plan is a complete mess, guys. So what I will do is just delete everything. So Bello, let me see where we have Bello, okay from Bello, we got a page back, so Bello and then we go to Bonax, that's okay, from Bonax, Okay, we have um, Bonax, from there we go to <laughs> So we uh, delete this one and we uh, put in a DO 33Q 33Q uh, Q, that's this one we put that here I'm not in database alright that's a bummer it can also be a uh, 0 33Q try that alright would be this one from there we go to and I'm coming uh, immediately to the chat so then we go to a D then zero zero six Q I take the first one From there we go to um, TR uh, LAP TR LAP That's also not in a database Come on, give me this one It's actually uh, start with an a, uh, I. Sometimes it's uh, hard to see uh, the waypoints, so I R L E P. Was that one? So we never have that problem in the Phoenix. So in that regard, the yeah. Phoenix is uh, perfect. And uh, we have that this problem um, many times in this plane. So then we go to D uh, 294, 294, then M. And there we go. 
we have a lot of uh, waypoints here. Okay. From there we go to Tabap. Do we have that? Tabap. Um, step. Check that. And Tabap. We don't. Yeah, we have that. So we need to uh, do Ombus. We delete Ombus. This one as well. Clear that. Clear, clear, clear. And then also Ombus. We clear previous page. We go to top up. We place it here. Next page. Execute. And then we have FF11. And then we have A Oliva. place that right here from there we go to the next one I think we are almost there then Emeva Emeva right here and then we are at runway 11 so we can um, put this one right here and then we execute and that should we should have a nice uh, plan there we go so it takes some time but we have a, a nice approach here um, it's a really a mess sometimes with this plane and uh, now we can continue so Carwin uh, New Zealand is 12 hours ahead of uh, Belgium, a day ahead. Yeah, Elliot, uh, is Switbos ever gone to read the chat? Uh, yes, I'm uh, trying to do that now, but uh, I need to concentrate on uh, my um, slide plan because it's uh, pretty important. John Roberto, how oh, amazing the earth! Yes, so Elliot, it's uh, 11 10 uh, a.m. for uh, you. Roberto, um, sorry, Belgium is ahead one hour of the UK, and uh, he is very busy, Elliot. That's what uh, in Juna say. So I try to um, catch all the messages. Okay, um, Elliot, Paris, Charles de Gaulle, um, to and Noah. All right. So I think I'm uh, pretty much done with all the messages. Uh, they were always uh, related to uh, someone else. So uh, Elliot uh, at Whitwell Productions, I uh, fly to Italy uh, tomorrow in real life. Okay, uh, which airport you fly to? So in the meantime, I try to check who is with me here today. Um, it seems uh, no one in uh, uh, Valanta. Um, but we have uh, two planes here. They are uh, hanging here. <laughs> this is a weird sight. Uh, Albert Pino, you are ready for starting the APU. Oh, are ready. Okay. Um, I'm still not ready. And also, need, why have no fuel track? Uh, what's the cruising altitude? Uh, three four zero. Uh, night night. Carwin, uh, yes, being a real uh, a real pilot, needs a lot of uh, concentration for the calculations. Yep. And then Elliot. Um, uh, 
Hello uh, to John Roberto. Yes, but when I stream, I uh, look at the chat every uh, three four, to five minutes. Uh, did it took so long that I was not watching the chat? Um, but I will catch everything. And you uh, fly. Uh, most others do as well. Well, sometimes it's, it's uh, not possible. I think that's my first time, uh, pretty much, that I didn't do it. Otherwise, I always uh, do it. So. Uh, yeah. Turin, Italy. All right. Um, let's uh, jump uh, further into this uh, beautiful uh, plane with some issues <laughs> with the flight plan. Then, so a yo damper uh, can go on. And then uh, what else we have? Chitblood signs and uh, stuff can go on as well. There we go. And then we are cruising at 35,000 feet. We put that in. There we go. And then uh, all the rest. Electrics can go on. Window heat can go on as well. So all everything is on. Karin, uh, who is uh, flying the planes today? I believe um, I'm sure that uh, El Bapino is uh, flying with us. Night Knight is uh, flying with us, uh, I think. And um, Peter, um, but he don't find me. So that's uh, weird that he cannot find me. Or maybe in the meantime, um, so then uh, we also put it here at uh, 34,000 uh, feet. And there we go. And those things are uh, not working yet. Um, flight director on. And there we go. And then we also need to uh, check our fuel because we still have no fuel guys. So uh, fuel, where is the fuel? Request the refueling. Fueling truck is on its way. Yeah, uh, hurry up. Please don't load aircraft until the fuel truck arrives. Carvin, uh, no Dexter. Uh, uh, no Dexter today. Uh, I didn't see him yet, so maybe you can uh, jump in the chat a little later. But uh, I guess he's not flying today. Peter, restart the sim and uh, a new. Uh, now I get you. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Hello, Pino. I'm on your uh, left, guys, uh, with the uh, Air France livery. Please don't load aircraft until the fuel. Which one is the Air France? That's uh, to set the desired fuel that one. Are you flying the 737 uh, El Bapino or the A320? Because this is Faro uh, Island and that's a 737 um, without delivery. Alright. Please use your airplane fuel system to set the desired fuel quantity. Okay, so um, well, the seven three seven eight hundred. Okay, so you are the one in the back without the livery, but I know that you are with uh, Fly Air France because uh, that's where you come from. Um, and we go to um, here, and then we go to uh, fuel. What fuel we need for uh, this flight? Ever uh, almost no, have always. 2,000 kilograms extra. Fuel system to set the fuel so 9,865. 9,865. There we go. That's good. We go back and then we also need our uh, payload because um, how many passengers we have. They're already boarded. So packs 139. 
there we go 139 all right and then we have also the payload or the cargo that's uh 3.7 Um, I'll put that in the front something like that will be okay by this Karin, uh, all the planes are uh, starting at the 737 waiting for it to go alright <laughs> <I'll be no lol. laughs> that night uh, there is a big uh, sign uh, for coca cola in the airport do you see it? I'm using the Payware airport. No, then I will not see it. Um, I see that you guys um, have another airport loaded up uh, because you are hanging <laughs> or floating here uh, around. So that's uh, a sign that there is um, uh, that you use another airport. Also, El Bapino. Eliata, oh, Guinea, as uh, some of my family is from there. Um, one for uh, Guinea, okay. Alapino, uh, my new config on a Shadow Power is uh, just gorgeous. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, so uh, maybe you can tell during the flight some uh, things about it because I'm very curious to to hear how it is. So we are uh, loading the fuel and then we can um, put back, uh, go back to the FMC. Also, our transponder need to be set. There we go. Is there something else that we need? Probably. Karin, your uh, plane lights are blinking. Alright, but that's a good thing that uh, because we will depart. John uh, Roberto, sometimes you had uh, a trouble, so you uh, don't need to compare others. If he can't read all your messages, maybe uh, some understanding. Thank you very much, uh, John. Albapino, no doubt, no doubt. Nice. So we are uh, still uh, fueling. Um, I think that uh, is everything here. Our ILS, uh, we don't need to set that because I never use that. So course and and uh, frequency, and this can go to uh, RTO, and then we just uh, wait for the fuel. So one hour and 59 minutes flight, that's uh, what we do today. One hour and 59 fl uh, minute flight. It's uh, pretty long again. But the holidays are coming, so then you can rest a lot. <laughs> All right. Fuel track is, uh, is gone, so we uh, go back to our FMC and then we put in everything. There we go. Cruising altitude at uh, 340. That can go in. Cost index, I need to check that. 17, that's our cost index. Reserves 2.0. And then we can also uh, put in the zero fuel weight. All right, and then we can calculate or execute. Then we go to the next page is 29 degrees, uh, freaking hot. And then take off, flaps 5. There we go. And then uh, CG is at 18.5. Then we set the trim to 6.81. And uh, we turn the wheel. Bam, 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 bam. Yep. 
that's 6.81 uh, exactly so v1 is 130 uh, vr is 133 and then 144 of uh, v2 so everything is set guys so from here we go to the apu we can start apu and there we go Karwin, um you never heard of Willemstad Carousel? No, uh, it's in the Caribbean. Um, it's a very nice place. Every, every island there is actually a very a nice uh, place. Um, you also need to check out Swiss001 uh, because um, he was to the Carib Caribbean uh, to St. Bart to Sawa with the shortest runway in the world. And um, St. Martin what was the uh, other one. I already forgot. So a uh, check is out, uh, checked uh, is a channel out. Um, he was there uh, and uh, he make uh, three episodes of uh, his uh, visit to the Caribbean, and he's on uh, episode uh, two now. All right, um, APU is uh, starting up. We can also uh, turn the fuel pumps on for engine start as well. So APU is uh, started. The generators, we also put a uh, APU bleed on. And there we go. So everything is set. I believe. Okay, then uh, ground power can go off. Then we also put that off here menu and then the uh, second uh, first page here release and also the shocks so that does everything in once and there we go so everything everyone is uh, ready Elliot uh, Madeira I want to fly to uh, it's in uh, Europe yet yeah, from uh, Portugal okay so we go to a uh, GSX and then we uh, ask for pushback all right pushback requested I'm a little bit concerned because uh, why it was electrics. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Dead night are ready. Okay. Peter, I uh, know my uh, invitation is still pending. Uh, Peter, you don't need to send uh, an invitation for the for a group flight. Uh, we can fly like this. We uh, can fly like this uh, if you are with me here, because otherwise uh, everything changed to your settings, uh, and that's a bit difficult for me. But if you are uh, right here, then uh, because if I d if we don't see each other here with a group uh, invitation, it will also be the same. So Peter, are, are, uh, can you see me somewhere? Uh, but because Wait, uh, we need to go to and that thing. So we need to go to nose left and uh, tail to the right. Something like that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go and buy all. Um, yep, yeah, uh, and of course, with those productions. All right. Uh, have a nice day uh, or night. Have a good sleep. Okay, release parking brakes. Come on, release them. 
There we go. Alright, we can start up uh, engine uh, number two. So once it does 20, then we can add fuel. So there we go. We add fuel and engine number two is starting up. And uh, I think we will cut some grass here. Where are we going? So engine number uh, one, uh, two is started up and then we can uh, start engine number two, number one. <laughs> All right, uh, parking brake is set. Okay, and then we can also add fuel. There we go. Actually, that was way too early. So I hope the engine will start. Corwin Tipper, hi, it was, uh, where are you original from? I'm uh, from uh, Belgium, Belgium, a small country in uh, Europe. Corwin, uh, I will watch tomorrow's flight uh, sim when you do Auckland uh, to Christchurch, uh, Saturday here, uh, Friday there, yes. Alright, and then we have a good uh, engine start. We have a good engine start, you can disconnect. All right, so that is good. And then uh, we can also put on the generators. And there we go. And then we also put the packs on auto. And then APU bleed can come off and then APU itself as well. So all the lights out except those two. That's all fine. Taxi lights on. So Peter, uh, can you see me? Are you in in the, the thing here? Otherwise, uh, uh, next time I try to invite uh, invite you guys because if you if someone invites me and I need to go in that group, uh, the the settings are different and um, if you do a night flight, then uh, we don't see anything. So at all already in the past, so we just. Uh, I'll try to send an invite. Sometimes I'm on uh, on air company, and if the time change in my sim, then I can restart uh, on air company as well. You are alone in the airport, but if we do a group uh, fight, we, you will we also alone. We will not see each other. I tried that already uh, with someone, and uh, that was also not working. So uh, there is something on your settings is 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 wrong. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's something uh, is uh, wrong, I believe. And why we cannot uh, park? Uh, go here. I'm stuck. Parking brake off. All right. And then also our flaps to 5. And we check that for a minute. Peter, multiplayer zone? Yeah, it's uh, really... Uh... Wait. I will go to my settings very, very quickly. And... Uh... Let's just uh, see, we go to traffic. So, um, just a generic uh, uh, multiplayer, this need to be on. So that's uh, what uh, looks uh, for me, I think that's the most important thing. 
like this and then uh, we go back and if you uh, look at those uh, settings oh no, I cannot show that for that I need to go out of it but that's not possible all right VNAV, LNAV on that's not working for now um, what else we have flaps why my flaps are not set flaps And then we try to depart again. So a runway uh, 06, I think they gave me another runway, but um, yeah, we programmed everything for uh, runway uh, 06. So we will take that one. Peter, uh, I'm searching, uh, don't wait for me. Uh, no, we, we need to we need to figure that out. Um, otherwise, we will have always the uh, same problems. So we need to figure that out. Nordy, subscribe to the channel. Nordy, welcome to the stream. Thanks for subscribing. Hope you are doing fine, and uh, let some let you hear in the chat as well. In front you can see, um, is that El Vapino that is in front of us, um, there are some sprays or mist or whatever, a fog um, or smoke, I don't know what it is, that is with um, the thing from fly-by-wire that I installed again, the planes or the liveries that you can see then, uh, that is that thing again, I didn't install the injector, uh, I just wanted to try it out without the injector because uh, as we will land we have a lot of lag um, and I wanted just to try it out with this Hello Pino, yes it's uh, you, okay and then uh, we have uh, a Nordi from uh, Costa Rica so welcome uh, Nordi and welcome to the stream uh, very nice to have you here and greeting from Belgium to uh, Costa Rica I think you are the first one that I know uh, from Costa Rica I believe I'm not sure but uh, yeah so anyway welcome welcome So we have uh, some uh, floating planes, that's because they have another airport than I am. So we are here in the standard airport, El Vapino and Gnite Knight have a payware or a freeware airport. Um, Gnite Knight has a, a payware. Joe Chimboli, good evening everyone, hope all is well. Yeah. I'm fine and I believe all the rest um, here in the chat is uh, fine as well. For so far I know, um, but uh, thank you very much uh, Joe, I hope you are doing fine as well. So I will hold short here and then I prepare. So we have another plane parked there as well with a green tail. All right, landing lights on, on pulse, taxi lights can go off and then uh, we are ready. We will line up here and then uh, we give uh, Knight Knight a bit space. So it's very nice with uh, with the guys uh, where I'm flying with, like uh, Knight Knight and uh, Elba Pino, also Dirkster and GH77. They know exactly what they need to do. Uh, oh, that's maybe a bit too much. Okay, he can between. So you see that thing here, uh, that is with that integration of those thing from uh, fiber wire. I don't know why that is. So El Vapino give us a lot of space. Um, yeah, that's um, very, very nice of him. So we can go with three after each other. Uh, 
I just hope I'll make it. <laughs> And I check our um, flaps, flaps uh, should be five, one more. Why it's working, not working that great today. Okay, then we have also a uh, takeoff config. I forgot where the button is. Where's the button from the takeoff config? But of course we can also just put the power. And everything is fine. That's my uh, takeoff uh, config uh, test. Okay, everyone ready? Night night, El Vapino, ready? And then we uh, can uh, depart here. Um, maybe around 10 o'clock I will, or 10.30 I will um, get a phone call probably. And I need to take that. So just like the same like yesterday, I will um, be off for a few minutes. But I need to take that phone. It will be the same person <laughs> from yesterday. Albo Pino is ready. Knight Knight, are you ready? Then uh, we can uh, depart here. Jonah, I'm done with my beer. Good night, everyone. Have a safe flight, everyone who uh, fly tonight. Okay. I'm also thirsty. <laughs> All right, uh, Knight the Knight, um, ready. Okay, there we go, guys. One, a two, and a three. Power up. And I hope we can take off. Airspeed alive. Uh, airspeed alive. Eighty. Uh oh. Okay, we have time. We have time. There we go. V1, rotate. There we go, guys. Gear up. And uh, I have a problem with LNAV. Why is that? Okay, now, now we are there. And my autopilot is not working. Why is that not working? So we make our turn. Why autopilot is not working? Up. Uh, flaps up and flaps retracted. So I'm flying manual at the moment because my um Autopilot is not uh, working, and there we have uh, an issue. All right, so uh, this will be uh, hand flying again. Two hours hand flying. Great. Put this off. This is also not working. So there we have the other uh, plane, one other, and where is the second one? Oh, there is he. <laughs> All right.
So guys, I need your help. Going to one, two, eight, decimal, six, Suriname, seven, three, so we will do some uh, Georgetown Center, Suriname, seven, three, seven, nine, thousand, one hundred eight. formation flying here. So almost 10,000 feet. So there is a something with the Adairs again. It's not the first time. New damper is on. Everything is correct. So why uh, this is happening again? 10,000 feet. Lights can come off. To Trimbola, uh, I'm now at the back. Uh, my PC is struggling a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, my um, plane is struggling. So I cannot go to the autopilot. Why is that? So we have no uh, information here. Um, something is off with the adheres. How we can uh, change? Can change that. That it uh, takes actually uh, the autopilot from on this uh, FMC because I think it takes it from the other one. So we have no op autopilot. Thank you. So that's a bit of a bummer, so we need to do everything manually. In the meantime, um, cheers, guys. And also, the switch here is not going down. Norm normally, it sh should go uh, to off position. Joe, uh, cheers. So, uh, who is in front of me? Sixteen thousand, uh, almost seventeen thousand feet. So the flight directors are on. So that's good. And uh, this is uh, just nothing. Nothing works. Chi. Not from our group, really. You are in the lead, okay. So 19,000 feet. Yeah, I was following that guy. I thought it was uh, you actually. So I really need to have a new uh, mouse because that mouse, uh, I think it's the mouse problem. Uh, if you turn this uh, the wrong way or something, uh, and then uh, the idea is not aligned, I believe. Index uh, position. Oops, that's not what I needed to do. Twenty uh, three thousand feet. So behind me, I see one plane. 
Only one. Where is the second tent? So I see two planes on my uh, behind me. Albapino, uh, this Albapino is in front. Okay, guys, I need to pick up this. Uh, we'll be back in uh, a second.
So guys, uh, um, I'm back. My excuse uh, for the um, interruption here, but um, it was an important uh, phone call that I needed to uh, take, and uh, yeah, so I needed to uh, talk a bit. <coughs> so meantime, we are at uh, uh, 34,000 feet, uh, and then we need to trim, I think, because we are flying uh, manual. And there we go. And uh, this will be a tricky uh, flight because I cannot put on the autopilot. So if someone has uh, an idea what I can do to uh, let work the autopilot because we have uh, no uh, systems here. And now we uh, go down too uh, quickly. So it will be a bit st a struggle. All right, so we are uh, going back and <laughs> downwards. Uh, Carmen, I like the ringtone. Um, yeah, this was actually my phone. Uh, it's not an, uh, a text message or something that we got. Uh, it was uh, just a phone call. Good okay, night. Germany is out of the World Cup. Yeah, Belgium as well. I didn't know from Germany, uh, but uh, Belgium is out. But uh, that was to be expected. Alright. Why we can uh, not uh, turn that on? I actually need to switch from uh, FMC uh, because I think the autopilot is on this FMC and that is not working so we need to go to this FMC is that correct has uh, someone a clue I'd like to know that because I don't want to trim uh, for two hours So we uh, just check the views here, the windows need to be cleaned because they are very dirty and that's uh, the cabin here. So in the meantime I think I lost everyone. Um, So you know, we can also try to figure out what we uh, need to do. IRS on a boat, on the right, on the left. So maybe uh, we take uh, this on left and then we try again can we do that so we have two screens now that's already something that night uh, was a problem that you are facing uh, my um, this screen was not working my uh, autopilot is uh, not working Karin, uh, when you were on the phone, the uh, the plane did the side to a side movement. Well, yeah, I was I was still uh, steering it. Uh, I was still here. Instrument switch. So I was uh, still flying it. Um, I was not. I was still for in front of my PC. Try to disconnect the uh, autopilot, but yeah, um, it's not on. I cannot uh, put it on. So 
as you can see it's uh, not working so I have my uh, panel back because I'm switched to all the systems to the left and uh, actually I did it with this so to FMC that's both both on right and what else we have all on one on one we try again nothing okay uh, disconnect a uh, flight director and all in the AP autopilot unit uh, so flight directors off <laughs> those things uh, are not working we uh, turn them on again very weird and then uh, what is here uh, display a source reconnect again well are connected again but uh, not working so there was actually uh, something wrong with this one with this panel so I guess with this FMC there was something wrong with that so I switched everything to uh, the left side So if we uh, turn that off, that off. Nope. Still not. So I really need to uh, use another mouse because I think the problem is there because I turned uh, the always the wrong way with the mouse. Uh, it's with, uh, the scroll wheel is actually uh, bad. Yeah, it's uh, bizarre. And if you put everything on the right. We'll try that. And then we have nothing, so the right side is not working. As you can see. So we need to uh, do this, this. This. No, uh, still uh, not working. And there is actually uh, nothing else that we can uh, do, what I, I can think of. And now we are uh, diving again. That's not a good thing. <laughs> no. 
so it's not the first time that we have a, a problem i think the last time it was also in this plane that uh, we had the problem uh Knight Knight, also make sure you actually have a vnav uh, constraints in your fms the cmd uh, won't engage if there are uh and altitude and speed uh, restrictions in your waypoints yeah uh wait uh, maybe i need to go to and first i need to see where i am uh, and then i can maybe go to put a direct direct to a sedum so maybe we can try to do that um index oh no we don't uh need to do that uh sedum where is that i don't have that here G, I see them, yeah. That's the one. So it's actually following uh, the the route. So that's the the one that we are going to, and uh, my thing is not working. Right here, that. Uh, yeah, I'm um, uh, about a uh, sit on. Maybe in your settings, the autopilot button. No, uh, that is because also uh, I can not do it manual. Uh, if I push just here, normally it should go on. So it has nothing to do because I'm on the Phoenix, no, on the A320 uh, profile that I always use. Of course, I can check that. Uh, just give me uh, a second general control options. Now I will, um, oh, I'm on the Phoenix one. That's why it's, it's why that my uh, landing gear is not working. Okay. Apply, back, resume. And now I'm a little bit behind, probably. So now this will work. And there we go. But the autopilot is still not working. Peter, you have any old and speeds in your uh, FMC? Strange. Oh, yeah. Indeed. Indeed, we don't have that. I didn't see that yet. No, we have that here. It's here. We have that. So we have we have it actually in in our plan here. Data config invalid. The thing is that we have uh, this uh, system is not working. The FMC on the right is uh, not working, and I think it gets all the data from the FMC on the right, and that's why. Yep, I was on the uh, wrong page. So we put this uh, everything back to the left. And there we go. All right. And there's a problem with my um, scroll wheel with uh, from the mouse, and I think that um, is a problem. Why uh, it's the second time already that I have that problem. And so it's actually the mouse, uh, the scroll wheel on my mouse that is. Uh, not working correct. Karen, you are back from uh, washing your uh, duty. Okay. Washing duty. <laughs> so. 
So this can come off normally. No, not working. Autopilot. I have three buttons for the autopilot, so it one should work, but uh, nothing is working. Kevin, like always, a washing rut uh, routine and uh, bed changing sheets. Uh, a lot of work. That's uh, the work that I don't like. George and Bolly at uh, Corin Davis, my car needs a wash if you're uh, up to it. <laughs> well, mine as well. Uh, I never do it. Uh, it's a waste of time washing a car. So this is a, a real bummer, guys. And tomorrow we fly the PMDG 737 again. Hope we will not get uh, any problems then. So nothing is working anymore. Karin, let the rain do the job. Mostly I do that. So actually it's a weird thing because it follows all the waypoints. But we cannot... Um, you see? It follows uh, perfectly our route but we cannot do anything we have no autopilot Turum, turum. program hold departure relax menu Nope. So I think I'm uh, far behind now, uh, you guys. I think I'm in a last position because I uh, was out. No, I'm still not. So I have someone on my left, and that is uh, Knight the Knight, he's on my left, and then on the back is Howling Matt. So I think that is uh, Joe, and then where is Alba, Alba Pino? Where are you, uh, Alba Pino? So it's uh, I'm on a real uh, property, and uh, when, I, it, when it rains, uh, the car actually gets uh, dirtier, yeah. Karin, um, my car is a 2004 a Mitsubishi Colt. It's a, a great car. Well, if it's from 2004 and it still drives good, then it's a great car, of course. And El Papino in front of you also. Okay. I'll try to catch you. <laughs> so now we have another line here as well. And why we have another line? I don't get it. I was so happy that I could fly this plane today, but uh, that uh, happy part is already gone. <laughs> no, it's a nice plane to fly, but uh, sometimes we have this problem, and I don't know. I think it's with the scroll wheel of uh, if you turn too far, then you actually need to reset it. Carvin uh, takes me from A to B, and uh, that's the main thing, uh, to places, yes. Before, I was also uh, liking uh, nice cars and stuff, but, you know, um, if someone opens his door and it, it touched your car, then, you know, if you go to the supermarket, it's uh, destroyed uh, very easily. Scratches everywhere, so, yeah, a car brings me from A to B, just like you. And that's uh, why I never clean my car. 
Good night. And uh, check that you have uh, the flight uh, directors on. Yes, they are on. And uh, make sure you use the mode you need. Uh, heading LNAV if using FMC routing. VNAV. Uh, yeah. So those things are where where on. Okay. So they are on now. As you can see, but uh, still not working. And then the uh, flight director is on also here. And then uh, what else we have? I have no clue. Did I touch accidentally something? I don't think so. Carwin, uh, I was at the supermarket once and someone next to um, me abandoned my uh, side mirrors. Yeah. Well, that happens. And then if you have a, a new car, then you get sick of it. At least I do. So that's why I. I was driving with my car as long as possible. By the way, I drive a Peugeot. French car. Yep, so no clue what is going on. Karen, uh, now uh, on when I park my car and go to the shops and stuff, uh, I have uh, a folded uh, mirror button to press the uh, make it safer. Yeah. Well, yeah, but uh, it's from 2004 the new cars automatic uh, automatic do that but then even then you know the people have no respect for uh, other uh, people's uh, cars and stuff so yeah So we uh, turn also on uh, some uh, lights. And there you go. And then we can do other lights as well. So there we go. Because uh, we will land in the dark, I believe. All right, come on. I'm not used with the camera uh, views. So we have uh, some uh, lights. Hello, Pino. I see Eddie uh, Major uh, in my left. Yeah, that's uh, um, Mr. Knoydenoid. Peter, uh, good news for me, I suppose. I switched off the PC and restarted. And now uh, on a T uh, and CC, and I saw someone uh, on the runway. So I'll wait uh, there till you arrive. Okay. That's nice. If we get there, because <laughs> it's hard to... Actually, it's not that hard to fly. I did already a flight with the 747, um, and that was a whole time uh, on manual. That was actually harder than this one. Also, with the 146, uh, the complete flight uh, without autopilot, I already did that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm always uh, facing some issues. There's not one stream where uh, there is no not one problem actually 
That's uh, the thing. So we are still over land, and then uh, mm, yeah, in a few minutes or 30 minutes we go over the sea. And then we go to uh, Curaçao, uh, Willemstad. Willemstad uh, and Curaçao uh, is in the Caribbean. That's a very a nice place, I think. I was never there in uh, real life, but um, yeah. And I'm on 36,000 feet. I cannot uh, hold good my altitude, but uh, that is not the biggest issue. Peter, um, don't uh, please don't speak uh, to uh, to me about uh, Microsoft. I really hate it. Uh, my other uh, computer and a laptop are Mac, and never had issues. So, well, I ne never had a Mac actually, um, so I cannot compare. I have a three hundred and sixty nautical miles to the top of the sun. Okay, thank you. And uh, I need that doom light. Where is that dome light? Is that this? No, I need this light. Uh, there we go. That's the light that I like. So I see uh, El Bapino, I think, in front of me here. It's actually the first uh, stream that we have that we are flying pretty close. Um, nice, nice. So, like I said in the beginning of the stream as well, um, I don't need to set the course, I don't need to set the frequency because uh, I never use that. There's always one of another issue. I have a pinot behind me. Oh, who is in front of them? Then it's... Mm, oh, you are next to me. And then uh, Joe is behind me, straight behind me. But uh, the Knight is uh, to my left. And, but there is uh, someone here. We'll check out who that is. Peter, uh, Mac never issues and don't uh, slow down because uh, of that stupid registry and driver and stuff. Mac is expensive, but you can use uh, them three times more than a PC. Oh. Yeah, I have totally no clue about that um, and I've uh, had never a Mac before. Oh, you know, uh, it's uh, me, you see, and there is a smoke, but I don't, but I don't, my smoke in sim condensation smoke, yeah. And then on my uh, left somewhere, there need to be a night and night, but I have no visual. And Derekster is at uh, our arrival airport. No, at our departure airport. Oh, okay. So it's coming later. Actually, yes. I see him. 
Drickster, Drickster. <laughs> nice. So I will uh, put a cola ready for him. And when he arrives, and he can drink. Oh, and uh, I think we lost uh, Alba Pino. Peter, uh, once used uh, to a Mac, you never go back uh, to Windows. Okay, oh, okay. There we see um, number Pino again. Carwin, um, he will uh, find his way to Willemstad Airport, Dixer. Yeah, I'm sure of it. That he will find. Well, it's nice to have uh, someone here with me uh, but actually I can also see when I need to go down but I need to do everything manual now so 352 uh, nautical miles to go so it's still uh, a long time Look outside. Oh, Sean Delaney, welcome to the stream, mate. Hope you are doing fine. So, uh, welcome, welcome. Coming uh, without fuel issues, of course. Yeah. Oh, Pino, you see there is a smoke, but I can't see a mine. Uh, one issue uh, for me. Uh, yeah, it's strange that you cannot see. Them. Maybe yeah, some setting is off uh, or something, because normally you should see it. So the smoke from your engines. And then Sean, hey guys, so welcome and mate. Hope you are doing fine. But it's nice that you have some smoke, uh, so I can see you, and I can follow you. I have a opinion, maybe a setting, but uh, which one? I don't know, yeah. Um, I cannot think uh, of a setting right now, um, I also don't know it. But uh, probably it will be one of the settings that is uh, off, or low, or I don't know. And also, uh, after every update, um, the simulator uh, reset some uh, settings as well so every time it, uh, it updates now when I start it up and then my uh, screen is window in window mode uh, so I always need to change that and there are some other settings as well Sean, uh, I hope a G77 is not too sad. Uh, why? Why, Sean? Did I miss something? Why it should uh, can be sad, Sean? Because uh, I, I don't follow now. <laughs> oh, Germany is out. Oh yeah, well, Belgium as well. World Cup. Yeah. Now Belgium is out as well, so but that was to be expected. Yeah, the 30 last minutes they were playing okay, and uh, from the last game now, but uh, the two previous uh, games they were so bad, you know. Sean, yep, and then Peter and Belgium too, yeah, that's actually a shame, you know. 
Sorry, Sean. Oh, yeah. Almost forget about Belgium. Yeah. Uh, better to forget it. You know. So we have a marker here, so we can just turn the same. We follow uh, the smoke of uh, Alba Pino. Uh, it makes my life way easier. Thank you, uh, <laughs> Alba Pino. So I just need to follow the line here. Very easy. Because uh, I have no autopilot once again. No, which sun will lose him, I think. Also, the sun is going under because we are on a real time, real weather. Sean, uh, what's wrong with the autopilot? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the only thing what I know is that. Um, and this uh, panel is not working so we are all on the left system so I needed to switch over to the left system so with those uh, buttons here IRS, FMC, everything to the left and then we have also here uh, our route but uh, the autopilot is not working so no clue what I need to do to get it back to work. Peter, no smoke there uh, contrails, yeah. There's no smoke with there. Thank you uh, very much. Just easier easier to say smoke. <laughs> In the meantime, we have a 19 likes on my screen, on your screens, uh, 20 likes probably. So I uh, like to have one more. So if someone can give me one more like, I will really appreciate that. Sean, I told you not to buy the 737 from wish.com. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Elliot, it's almost like a checklist could help. Nope. That's not in the checklist. You like now? Okay, we have now 22. Okay, thank you guys. So, a checklist will not solve my problem. The problem is the, uh, my scroll wheel on the mouse. That is the problem. And if you turn to the le uh one way it always goes first to the other way yeah and that's the problem when I uh, turn the uh, ideas on then it goes sometimes it goes to the other side and I think there was a problem because it did that when I put that thing on so I put it on a line and then it goes uh, back to off and, and to nav immediately and to this and then it messes that, that system up and it has to do with the scroll wheel and it was the same as uh, last time. And that was the issue, well this panel is not working so i put everything to the left side so we are working with the fmc from the left side on both sides now but the autopilot is not working Kevin, uh hope the landing will be smooth as always <laughs> as always why others uh when they land to go over the plates but uh, uh land and they are uh, first in Australia. It went bounce in hovering. All uh, right. So you are uh, talking about your flight, not about uh, my landings, because th th those are never smooth. Uh, please take the lights. Uh, yeah, uh, twenty-two. So you did. Thank you very much. 
and Joe, uh, you too. Thank you very much, guys. And there we have the sun going under. I don't like that because it will be dark then. The other night, uh, Flyby Wire updates uh, to stable version uh, 0 0.9.0 on uh, on Flyby Wire. Yes, I saw that. And someone uh, said uh, said that there was an installer for the A330 from Headwind, but uh, I didn't find that. I installed the new uh, version of it, uh, but I didn't see any installer. Or did I uh, get that wrong? Elliot, uh, Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator set its reset its last for me yesterday and asked me uh, to configure uh, settings like it's brand new. Oh. Okay. That night, Avalanta is getting uh, a mobile app soon. Yes, I uh, saw a message from that. So it uh, happens to you, uh, Sean, every uh, sim update, yeah? Now I get every time I uh, st start up the sim, I get an, a new update every time. Um, and it seems not to be only for me. And then it goes to window mode, so I need to put it back to full screen and stuff, and other settings as well. Peter, at uh, night night I installed the uh, update, uh, update A330, which is uh, based on the fly-by-wire uh, 0 0.9, and it's a flying rate, much better than before. Okay, so we will, in two weeks, we will fly that one again, because I have a flight coming, and I need to choose between the A321 and the A330. So, but that will be for next week, maybe Thursday. Maybe for the week after Monday or so. Kevin, um, are you starting your descent? Uh, not yet, not yet. Je Trombole, uh, Kevin Davis, I'm practicing to be a Reiner pilot. Oh, okay. And then uh, I'll learn. I will show you how. <laughs> so 260 nautical miles left to our top of descent, so we were flying in the dark, guys, and land for sure in the dark. Try the night. Uh, what A330 are you talking about? Uh, about the headwind. Headwind. A330. Uh, Sean already uh, put that in chat. The headwind uh, and don't um, play. Headwind guys don't play. Flyby Wire uh, rejected their request to join the Flyby Wire installer, so just made theirs. Okay. Oh, why not? Joe, you're referring to uh, your landings here. But yeah, I think your uh, landings are better as mine because um, sometimes I, I really. Screw it up. There's another plane. Who is that? Knight and Knight? Is that Knight and Knight? Mm. Knight and Knight is in front of me. According to Valanta. And Joe is very close to me as well. So maybe it's him. So it can be Joe. Peter, no issues with uh, it's only the uh, sim bridge. Uh, I have a peanut. Oh, and no, I see the smoke. So uh, it's in the sim. All right, nice. Kevin, uh, when uh, I did a, s a flight sim last uh, time, ages ago, um, when I did a landing, I had to go around uh, and go back. So uh, I did a smooth landing. Oh, okay. Well, in x -plane, I had a lot of smooth landings, actually. 
and then I came in Microsoft Flight Simulator and then it, it really is not working out. <laughs> Sean, everything is so smooth at the plane, the installer uh, and the issues have been fixed. Joe, you are at 34,000 feet and then like night night, uh, the, this is a freeware airplane. Yeah, the uh, headwind is a freeware. Yeah, you are a quarter uh, in Gaiman, uh, how you pronounce that actually, uh, in a real life. So I cannot hold my... Um, altitude in a nice way so I'm going up and then down a bit Carwin um, you used the Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, 98 and uh, it was like a real airport and had great uh, features yeah it's a long time ago a long long time ago I think the installer in chat. Toppy. Nice. Thank you, uh, Sean. Hey, uh, yeah, guy in here. In here. Well, what's never. <laughs> I cannot pronounce that. <laughs> I, I never heard from that place, actually, to be honest. Guy Inion. Guy Inion. Something like that. <laughs> you wonder that Drex um, departed. Well, we can see that. And no, it's not departed yet. I think it's. Uh, eating something it's not departed yet so we will cross the sea uh, shortly northeast uh, SA Elliot what do you mean with SA? So we are climbing again, always climbing and going down. And that autopilot, damn it. Peter, how can uh, you see who is flying with me? Um, I use uh, Volanta and uh, also Knight Knight and uh, Dexter and Joe is using uh, Volanta. So I can see them around me. Volanta is a, a free tool that you can download and uh, yeah, it's uh, nice to have so I can see who is where and I can also see that Dirkster is uh, still at our departure airport I don't need to uh, sleep because I'm going to Italy tomorrow South America, okay So have a wonderful sleep and enjoy your trip to Italy. Peter, okay. And then uh, I have uh, I have it, but not installed yet. Okay. Elliot, uh, see you again. So happy flying, I would say. Enjoy your flight. So. It's easy for me to see uh, who is flying with me um, and who is uh, where. So I'm uh, following that uh, very frequent. 
uh, when we do a live stream so uh, easy for me to tell who is with me Peter installing it now okay nice And you see that I'm still flying uh, with my hands, no autopilot. So, the day that we have a perfect flight, then I will stop streaming, stop flying. No, <laughs> that will never happen. And I mean, a perfect flight without issues, nice landing, everything goes smooth, without any troubles. So tomorrow we have a flight uh, to uh, Christ Church, uh, the place where um, Carmen is living. <coughs> and. Um, we fly actually uh, from Auckland and that's the uh, opposite way that he will fly in two weeks I believe that he will leave and uh, that's the opposite way of course he will do the same uh, route as well when he comes back so but uh, tomorrow we fly uh, from Auckland um, to Christchurch um, airport in New Zealand and we do that with the 737 from PMDG in the 800 today we fly the 700 tomorrow the 800 uh, good night Avalanta says that you are a climbing guys yeah I'm climbing so I'm going up and down Corin uh, have you ever done tutorials on a flight sim before streams uh, they can help you uh, to land safely and how to land uh, no look um, actually before I was streaming uh, some years ago uh, I actually started to stream this year um, but when I was starting to um, fly, but then more frequent, because I'm flying already a long, long time, but so now and then and never serious. But when I started to fly serious, um, I watched a lot of um, YouTubers um, and then how to start up planes and stuff, how to do set up the FMC, FMS, uh, MCDU, things like that. And actually, I learned a lot of, uh, uh, I think you all know him, uh, Q8 pilot. I learned a lot of him. I was always watching uh, his uh, reviews and, and how to start up uh, a plane in X-Plane. So I was uh, following that. So everything what I know, it comes from him. But uh, still I do things wrong and some things goes, just go wrong. And I think the issue that we have now is just according to my um, rotation wheel or my, uh, how you call it, scroll wheel on my um, mouse. I think that is a problem. Come in, uh, I fly to uh, Wellington, it's uh, at the bottom of uh, North Island. Auckland is uh, up north on top. Oh, Wellington. Uh, alright, 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 alright. I need to remember that. So, how long flight time is that? Is that an hour, a little bit over an hour? So uh, Suriname Airways, uh, I think uh, the company has uh, stopped the uh, operations. 
because it uh, had a lot of uh, lost money or something. They were uh, going to bankrupt. Come in, you went to Auckland in October. Oh, okay. So now it will be. Um, yeah, I remember that. So now it will be a Wellington. But Wellington has also an, a nice airport, I believe. There's also a Piver uh, airport for it. Coming uh, from Christchurch to Wellington, it's 55 minutes and uh, on the way back, 50 minutes and done wins. Okay, yeah, that's a bit short, a bit short. And it's a bit long to do the back flight as well, the return leg, so then it will be to take too long. The total stream then. Joe, uh, you climb it to avoid uh, El Vapino 65. Okay, no problem. I lost uh, El Vapino. I lost everyone, uh, I believe. I don't see anyone anymore. No lights. Nothing. So I check um, 166 nautical miles before our top of descent. Going to uh, fly to Wellington on uh, December 13. Okay. Sean Delaney, uh, here's the headwind uh, simulation installer. Topping, mate. Thank you uh, very much. And I really need to click that. I don't know what will happen, but I need to click that. Otherwise, I need to wait until tomorrow when the chat appears again. Because after the stream, the chat will go. Uh, until everything is uploaded correctly and then it takes hours before the chat is back and then I also need to find it back so I will uh, click it and uh, maybe okay headwind simulations I didn't know they had a site all right so I have it thank you very much uh, Sean thank you very much Uh, Sean, uh, you can send it to uh, Discord too. Yeah, if you want, you can do that. Yes, uh, a nightbot will not uh, hold you back now because I changed that because it was annoying that uh, people could not send anything. So uh, I took that out also in the chat. As long as we don't have uh, troubles, um, I will allow that. Of course, if there, um, like in the beginning, a lot of things that are uh, not needed in the chat, then. Uh, I need to um, do that again. But I think uh, mods can do that anyway. So, we will see. I'm curious when uh, Drex will leave. He's still there. I think the food is good there. Armadei, welcome to the stream. Hope you are doing fine. Tomorrow I will uh, join the flight too. Okay, no problem. So tomorrow we will fly uh, from Auckland to uh, Chris Church, uh, I fly the 737, you fly whatever you want. Normally, uh, second Lama Sigan, my name. Okay, so but uh, anyway, thank you uh, for uh, joining. So make our turn here to the right. And who's cutting me off? That is Knight Knight. He is in front of me.
So then uh, we are over the sea now. Hmm. Ricardo, uh, Volpe, better. Yeah, that's much better. And I'm sorry for this uh, inactivity. I've been uh, working for one month straight. No problem, mate. No problem. Next week, um, Wednesday. Or Thursday, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure. Next week, Wednesday or Thursday will be your flight request. If nothing comes between, of course. Uh, so for now, I will check for you. Um, why that is not on me? So normally, uh, December 8th. It should uh, your a uh, flight request, December eight. That is not in my um, planning yet, uh, or of my YouTube yet. Still need to make it, but it's in my planning. Ricardo, did you saw the free A three ten? Yes, we flew that yesterday. We flew that one yesterday. And you don't like it. Okay. Joe uh, Trimboli and uh, that night is waiting for uh, seeking before he do that. Oh, oh, oh. who's doing what? Oh, uh, that night I missed your message. Thanks to Joe, I saw that I missed something. Can I deny it? Are you planning for a day per week for helicopters yet? Um, I was thinking of it. But there are some drawbacks. I like to do it. Um, but there are some things. Uh, one of the things is that the helicopters don't work perfectly for me. I don't know um, if I do a manual start and then like the the G2 the screen is not working and some other things as well uh, our buttons or switches are not working it's like they are locked you can press them but uh, they move a little bit but you cannot like the strobe lights don't work cannot put down the switch over uh, the screen is not working, so those things, uh, I don't know what I'm, I'm doing wrong or what is uh, going on. You have three models of them. Um, some The same switches are not working. Uh, no, it's not that good. That's nice, it's chopper, yeah. Well, I, l I like to fly it. Um, the the 407, the Bell 407 is a bit more difficult because I'm always going like this. The, that's going everywhere. Uh, I cannot fly it straight with that. But the G2, yeah, flies nice. I also installed the 135. Um, that's actually the easiest one to fly. Um, I still need to learn how to start it up uh, because I don't know. But like the G2, I can start it up, but not all buttons are working and the screen is not working, so I cannot see the power management or something. That's a real bummer. Peter is the extra here. Um, is not in the chat, uh, but he is not. Uh, he is still at the airport. At our uh, departure airport. Kevin, I gotta go now. Uh, see you tomorrow. Uh, New Zealand flight. Uh, have a great evening. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Kevin. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy it. And uh, yeah, maybe until uh, to tomorrow or this evening for you. Maybe. Yeah, I will see uh, what I do tomorrow morning. Uh, I hope for a stream uh, at the airport. But we will see how it will work. I also expecting something that is very important. 
um so i need to see uh, maybe saturday also a stream in the morning we will see i cannot promise anything at this uh moment so anyway have a wonderful day enjoy everything what you do so. Sean, uh, it was. Uh, have you installed the new NVIDIA graphics driver? I just just before the stream, uh, it uh, showed up on my screen that there was a new uh, driver. Yes, but I didn't install it yet. And then tonight night, have you a nice day to Carwin? Uh, NVIDIA launched uh, its a new driver today. Yeah, I saw that uh, just before the stream, so I didn't touch it no updates just before a stream always bad thing peter bye bye Corin. i will be back uh the week after and next week stay uh, safe mate Corin, i will keep an eye on it okay but i cannot promise anything um it's just in my head to do but no I did uh, I did it's working fine in DLSS as uh, been improved okay I will I will uh, update it and uh, tomorrow we will use it of course but um, just before stream I don't want to do it because if something goes wrong then everything goes wrong you know and uh, we have already Problems enough. Top of descent nineteen and not ninety and nautical miles, guys. Ninety. And then it will get dark. So Sean to answer your question, I like to do a st a streams with, with the helicopters. Um but I need to figure that out and also I want to combine it with that uh aerosoft thing. And uh, yeah. There are some other things as well that I need to consider. Uh, I need to do it uh, a bit more relaxed. If you know what I mean. Uh, GeForce experience thing, yeah. That's what I use uh, to do the updates. Yeah, Sean. Um, never, I never go to the site itself just for the GeForce experience thing. Uh, will notify you uh, if there is an update. So yeah, that's uh, easy. So I got a message just before the stream actually, and then. Sean, thanks, no problem. So, uh, Twilvo's Productions, uh, you have uh, disappeared from my uh, flight sim. Still there in Volonta. Hello. That's why maybe that I don't see anyone anymore. Why, what happened? Because I don't see anyone anymore. And uh, I know that. Alba Pino was uh, close to me so why I disappeared or everyone disappeared so yeah uh, in, in Volanta we stay uh, see each other but in sometimes in the in the stream or in the simulator it's different and I lost everyone So you use labors to see an aircraft and you have disappeared also from the VFR map. I think we have different routes. Yes, um, because I, I, I changed my route completely. But this is still the uh, original until I think Bonax. Until there, my route is uh, still the same. I believe Bello uh, Bonax. That's the that stays the same. 
Uh, are we near the Bermuda Triangle? Uh, I don't know, mate. <laughs> no clue where that is. Help you know I'm behind. Uh, and sir, it's uh, not your fault. It's the sim. And Dexter is departing now. Oh, okay. Nice. So I will come. Good night. You are uh, heading straight to Curacao. All right. Uh, I go to Bello and then Bomax and then I go around to around the island actually and then I, I go to runway 11 I think it is it's actually a bummer that we land in the dark And then I check again. So 59 nautical miles to go. Autopilot. Yeah, it's a very strange thing that uh, those things are not working here. So the frequencies we don't need to set because we don't need it like usual. And make our turn here a bit. Hopefully uh, the flight goes uh, better tomorrow. So, um, who was asking that, uh, Sean, uh, was you that, that were asking about uh, the helicopters? night who was that because I really like to do the helicopter thing was uh, of course uh, again quite expensive and like someone said uh, I'm waiting for the seeking that would be nice the sunning to 10,000 uh, feet now night okay it was night night okay yeah I like to do that helicopters but there are so many uh, a few uh, reasons why um, I'm holding it off for now. But I'm really... Um, I'll, I'll try to fly every day 5-10 minutes with an helicopter to, to uh, learn a bit. But uh, yeah, something is off. Uh, if someone of you would uh, like to try uh, the G2 uh, to start up that uh, screen and also the strobe lights, uh, if that is working for you, uh, can you let me know in uh, Discord or so? And then, because uh, for me it's not working. I saw on a stream or uh, a tutorial that it was working uh, for that guy. Uh, for me, it's not working. So I don't know why. So meantime I will see who does the top chatter at the moment because uh, we have a lot of uh, messages here uh, today so I'm actually wondering who is the top chatter oh the top chatter is congrats to Knight Knight top chatter <laughs> Maybe I need to give a price for that. Also Saturday and there will be a stream. And I actually was 
thinking of to do to do um, a helicopter flight on Saturday, but then with all those uh, issues, um, I uh, saved them. Yeah, it was a long time ago that we fly the one four six, so Saturday we will fly the one four six. Sean, uh, will you uh, like to see the? Will like to see you uh, fly the hot hair balloon. <laughs> well, I saw that because uh, it comes from the same side uh, from the one, the one three five. No, what is that helicopter? Um, yeah, they also have the hot air balloon. No, no, that's uh, the that's uh, good news. Okay, thank you. Then Derek, sir, good evening, mate. Oh, there are you. We saw you at the airport. You were doing doing some plane spotting. Now you left, but uh, you were doing some plane spotting or enjoying your dinner. Sean, uh, you look like uh, a balloon pilot in uh, real life. Uh, you just need to use big uh, goggles. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. <laughs> Dexter, oh, you did. Yeah, we were watching uh, you on uh, Volanta and we saw, and, okay, there is Dexter, he is doing plane spotting I think because it was there for standing for a long time and now I hear that you were uh, departed from uh, our departure airport uh, director uh, yes I got uh, home late but I uh, still wanted to do a bit of uh, flying always a nice thing flying so we uh, we had some troubles here. Uh, I've no autopilot, so I'm flying for two hours uh, manual again. Getting used to it. From Derek, sorry, good evening, uh, everyone. So welcome, welcome. There was another plane uh, at the airport. I was wondering uh, if it was uh, one of you guys. Um, not me. Uh, we were already departed. Sean, uh, okay, back to work for me. Uh, I tried to catch a landing. Okay, um, Sean, have a wonderful afternoon. Enjoy your work. In case I don't hear you anymore, um, but if you can be back for landing, it will be nice. But uh, if not, then uh, enjoy your day. Uh, stay safe and uh, yeah, enjoy. There's a, oh no, always uh, some action, yeah. Alvapino, top of descent. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, so just the FMC message. Top of descent, uh, three uh, nautical miles. So we will not turn that down. They're still not working. I don't know how we will do that. Our top of descent. So we go down, we trim it down, and then we will go down anyway. Next, sir, I picked uh, the 737 cargo tonight, so I had uh, to get used to the different setup again. Also, I tried to pull the LB and kilogram trick uh, on <laughs> me again. <laughs> All right. That's uh, hope it will work out. You spotted it in time uh, and managed to uh, avoid disaster. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. So we are diving now. Uh, now it will be the hard part, I think. <coughs> So I try to have a decent uh, descent. 
And that will be the tricky part, I believe. Trim. <coughs> Go down, plane. 32,000 feet. And this is what I need. 2,000. Don't go to 3,000. Okay. That's too hard. <laughs> what altitude are you guys flying? Some For some reason, Simbrief uh, suggested uh, flight level 180. Uh, no. Um, for me or for us, it was uh, 34,000. Flight level 340. Joe, uh, if they can't see us, he won't be able to see my very good landing. Um, no, uh, I don't know what, what happened with that because before, um, Abapino was uh, very close to me, it was in front of me, and then suddenly he disappeared. Um, I have no visual of any one of you. Also, I think I will land a little bit later than you guys because uh, I adjusted the f my flight plan because it was a to totally a mess. The flight plan. Uh, I don't know with you guys, but uh, my flight plan was a real mess. So I put everything uh, manual. And uh, that's good that you have something like a uh, little nav map. That's always nice to have. Uh, all the waypoints are there and you can just uh, make your own route. route. Always nice. So we have normally an ILS landing like mostly. But uh, like always we don't use that. Because the autopilot is not working this time, and other, if it's working even then, uh, sometimes some things will go wrong as well. So I'm still trying the autopilot, but uh, I have three buttons. One on my uh, joystick, one on the yoke, and one on my throttle quadrant. So nothing is working. No, 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 uh, same for me. I deleted all stars and uh, sits. I just uh, had departure and destination on my MCDU. Oh, well, I deleted the last part uh, from where the mess started. Uh, deleted there everything and put. Actually, uh, I can show you what I put in. So this here, this is uh, I think from here. Um, I put this in, this in. And then uh, we go actually this waypoint we don't take, we go directly to here somewhere and then uh, go straight in. And that's uh, what I did. So uh, I am using uh, your flight plan. Yeah, but I, I changed a lot of things at the end. I, from where we are now, uh, I changed that. So what you see, uh, what I just sh uh, showed on the screen that uh, I will fly. But uh, the one uh, that uh, Simbrief gave me or the plane gave me, um, no, that was not good. Good night, uh, doing a go around, okay. Peter, uh, you see Knight Knight. Uh, you see him coming and passing the airport. Oh, nice! So it's working for you. So it's working. That's that's a good thing. So uh, next time you can uh, fly with us, mate. I'm happy to to see that that you uh, see a night night. Maybe you will not see me because I don't see the rest anymore. I uh, don't know what happened, but. Yeah. 
so we are still on our uh, indicator here so that's good that we have that so I'm exactly on the height that I need to be and then we go to 2000 feet I believe So tomorrow uh, we will have uh, a morning flight actually if we uh, depart from uh, Auckland then uh, it will be in the morning there Peter Davey you are uh, passing the wrong island um, I don't think so Do I? TNCC, I'm going to the right one. Look, I'm here in the yellow plane, that's me. Who is this? So this is a uh, TNCC, so that's uh, Curacao, so that's the airport that I need. So I go over this one. So this is a TNCB. And uh, we need to be at TNCC. So I go around runway 11. So that's the one. So the system is working now. Uh, you saw a director too. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's true. And then, uh, and that's night. So you can see also the plan now here. So all the waypoints that I put in, it's uh, a lot more than what uh, Simbrief was giving. And so uh, we need to go down quicker. And there you go. Q and H is set. Actually, it's nice uh, to uh, fly manual. I like uh, flying it with a Piper Arrow. The Arrow 3. Always flying manual. So we fly uh, also the 737-700 manual. Peter, uh, T-O is a uh, takeoff. Yeah. So 15,000 feet and everything is uh, fine so we just need to uh, slow down as well because I believe that will not do it automatically we will see My TCAS is off. No, it's on. Look, now is uh, just in uh, front of me. Yeah. Well, I have uh, no visual on him. It's a bummer. Like I said, if there is uh, in the first stream that everything goes perfect without any issues, I'll stop streaming. <laughs> that will never happen, you know. Because uh, every stream there is uh, something going wrong. The perfect flight we never had yet. But uh, if everything would be perfect, uh, then we don't learn anything anymore. So, and maybe uh, it will get boring as well. So there we see our island where we uh, need to land. So in the meantime, it's uh, almost completely dark. So we do uh, a night landing.
Dexter, how is everyone apart from autopilot? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm doing fine, mate. Thank you very much. I'm doing fine. It's getting colder here. Um, that's my only issue. Getting colder. Don't like that. Like a week ago, it was uh, still okay. Uh, but now, it feels really cold. And it's still not freezing. So 10,000 feet, we have turned on our uh, landing lights and stuff. There we go. Speed brakes. Need that. Because we are uh, going very, very, very fast. So we are above uh, speed limitation, so we get a penalty. Then I, I posted a screenshot uh, for our uh, formation uh, on Discord. Okay, thank you. Dexter, uh, with Walls Productions, uh, have you tried just turning both uh, flight directors? Uh, yes, also tried that. The issue is actually that our right side is not working. So we, I put all the systems here to uh, the left side. Both on left, both on left. You know, everything on left. And then I have two screens working, but uh, still the autopilot is uh, not working. Yes, uh, yes, definitely getting colder here as well. Yeah. Yeah, night. Uh, we are heading to the airport, or are we lost? Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Night. Uh, turn left, heading uh, one eighty. It has to do with my mouse scroll wheel on my mouse uh, because if I manipulate the adheres and uh, it went wrong on adhere two, um, sometimes if I scroll it, it goes the opposite way. Uh, so I need a, a new mouse. That is, I think that is the issue. And it, uh, don't align. So we make our uh, last turn, guys. Now we'll put already our um, recording on because uh, otherwise it's, it's it will be uh, too much. And I uh, turn also off the. Our um, auto throttle as well because. Uh, I need to lose speed. So auto throttle is off. And I try to uh, line up. And I uh, just hope that I don't crash here because I'm too low. Trim. And then I uh, put this a bit like this. I can see better where I need to go. 3000 feet guys, I need to pull up. Come on, plane, go up. Good night, you have a visual. All right. You have visual of the island. That's already something.
Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, we are way too low, we are way too low. I was not watching that. So now I really need to concentrate. Flaps one. Flaps two. And then uh, we need to turn here and then uh, I see the runway there. Flaps five. Top stand. And then we lower the landing gear. Landing gear down. Flap 15. So you are not uh, using real time. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit harder uh, in real time. Especially when it gets dark. Flaps 20. Speed brakes off. They were still on. This was uh, making it uh, a bit difficult. And we uh, try to uh, line up. All right, we're almost there. Go to flaps 40, maybe uh, just a bit too quick. Okay. I think we are uh, pretty much uh, lined up now. Autopilot, uh, auto throttle is off. Autopilot, uh, we don't have. So, and our speed is good for the moment. And hopefully we have a, a nice landing. So uh, I'm on a long a final now. Okay. So uh, good luck uh, to you, Echo. Also, good night, night. Alba Pino, where are you? One thousand. Uh, we are still uh, too low according to my glide slope here. I don't believe it. Approaching, okay. Also, good luck to you, El Bopino.
I need to go to the left. And then uh, auto brakes. And there we go. Oh, Pino, uh, thanks, sir. Uh, welcome, welcome. There we go, we are almost there. Peter, you have a visual on um, Davy. Thank you. Well, I think my uh, uh, lights are blinking. So, this is a uh, manual flying, guys. And we are uh, on the glide slope, or almost. 300. Here we go. Ready for impact. Yes, I've uh, set up my uh, sunglasses. <laughs> nice. There we go, guys. I'm ready for impact. 50, 40, 30, 20. Come on. Come on. Put it down. Put it down. Alpino 135 was a long landing. I think there was butter on the run. <laughs> yeah. Which side we need to be? Is this the taxiway? Where is the taxiway? Here. All right. Guys, tell me when you are landing. I try to catch uh, if. Yeah. If it's visible, I'm not sure. But I, I don't see lights coming. Joe is on a short. Uh, okay, oh well, uh, see. If I can catch it, but I don't think so because I lost everyone. I don't know why it is that I lost everyone. Then I'm uh, landing very uh, soon. I will try, but uh, I don't see lights. Normally, I should see lights. But no lights to see. Unless uh, electricity goes uh, out, <laughs> my apps are not working. Yeah. So everyone is landing at the uh, runway eleven, eh? I have no clue. But I also we. Who's park it here? Dexter, you see uh, two aircraft. Uh, Peter, um, Dexter, it's uh, real time. Yes. What time I have in the sim? Well, I, uh, I have no uh, clue what time it is uh, right now. 
we go here then we have uh, 17 uh, 6 o'clock 6 o'clock in the evening so uh, Peter which one is you there is a truck and there we have another plane two planes three planes but no one landing so I lost all the guys oh no there we have there we have one but uh, that one is not lined up Peter, I am stand 5, okay. So we have a landing from someone. We just landed uh, behind El Vapino. Wow. We didn't see that. But uh, someone is coming uh, towards uh, Isaac Knight at night. So I see one. Me, okay. So I see one, um, El Vapino and uh, Joe, I didn't see anymore. So we check out, no, no one. Here uh, there's another plane it disappeared, that was a big one, the, the other planes turned. So El Knight uh, it seems you are not uh, lined up yet. We're just making still your turn, that's possible. Cannot see that from here. So we will see a night night uh, landing. Joe Trimbley, we are at the end of the runway. Yeah, I checked it out, um, but there is uh, no one. I see no one on my screen here. The only plane that is here, that is my plane. And then uh, I just see a light coming, and I suppose that is a Canada night. And now the lights are gone. So three uh, aircraft are landing uh, very short after each other. Yeah, so that was me, uh, Albo Pino, and uh, Joe. But now I also lost um, Canada Knight. We need to set it to daylight. Uh, let me see. We want to change the time here. There we go. Yeah, but I lost him. Good night, I landed. Really? Uh, why I lost you? So suddenly you disappeared. Uh, I saw your light, lights, mate. I saw it, and then suddenly and nothing anymore. So why is that? So sorry guys that I didn't uh, catch you. My excuse for that. So we'll taxi to the gates. So I was actually very happy to fly this plane, but uh, yeah, we struggle uh, today. Um, and then we will also check the landing. It was a long landing, not happy with that. I, it didn't want to go down. Uh, of course, I can get it done, but then it will be very hard. But wanted to do it smooth and it was not going as uh, planned.
in the meantime we have 23 likes okay thank you very much we have had uh, 337 uh, views that's not so good but we have an average view duration of 5 minutes 20 all right we will uh, park here on the left so this is also a standard airport that comes with the simulator and uh yeah nothing more than that i was expecting actually a nicer airport here in Cur curacao but unfortunate and also this plane has who is this because you have also a payware uh airport So all the planes that are uh, floating, they have a uh, Payware Airport. Looks like Valanta is locked. Oh, all right. So where is my plane? Oh, there we are. Okay, so we go to our uh, replay, guys. Replay of our uh, long landing. So I stop the replay. Uh, the recording and then we do this oh uh i will i will check after the landing uh yeah i forgot that i will check after the landing i guess i will not see anyone anymore that's what i guess because everyone disappears so i don't know where that is this is the first time actually that we have that that uh, everyone disappeared so I will check after the landing, uh, I will check uh, where you are. Uh, Alvapino, alright, can gents, I'm um, going to bed, work tomorrow, uh, thanks uh, for all. Alvapino, thank you uh, for flying with us, um, yeah, it's always great to have you, and uh, yeah, join whenever you can, and have a very good sleep, and uh, enjoy uh, your day tomorrow. So. And Joe, what's uh, your sim name, Peter? And who is flying Air Macau? Oh, you know, thanks, sir. And uh, no problem, mate. You know that. Uh, always a welcome here. Always nice to have you. So here, um, this is already uh, not good, uh, the way I'm uh, putting the nose up, or need to put the nose up, that is not so good, not a good start. Good night, uh, stay for me, uh, good night, uh, all hope to see you all tomorrow, yep, yeah, I will be here tomorrow. <laughs> Good so night. Uh, thank you very much, mate. Uh, thank you for flying. Have a wonderful night and uh, sleep well. So in the meantime, we see our landing here. Nose high, way too high. That's one of my issues. And then we are trying to put it down. And there we go. And then we see it uh, from the other side. I was a bit uh, doing that too quick. Hope oh, my sim don't crash now. Oh, come on. Uh, if I do that too much, my uh, sim will crash here. So we uh, go to the internal view. Here we go. And then we feel how it is uh, a landing inside. And then we check out uh, Peter if we can see him. But uh, the guys see Peter and I don't see anyone anymore. And uh, there you say, can you uh, run that one more, please? Uh, yes, I can. So I will do it first the uh, inside landing and then we can do the outside again. No problem. And there we go. 
and then uh, nose down. Stones are nice. Okay. I hope the sim don't crash here. So we will see it uh, from this side. This is our uh, landing. Nose too, way too high. It was already uh, not good here. So this is a very bad landing if you see that even it was a, a soft one that's uh, not good so uh, no but uh, we have worked Oh, that the liveries uh, and some aircraft uh, don't match up what uh, we really are. I'm a A320 if that helps. So that's correct, the deliveries uh, mostly uh, don't uh, match. Sometimes it match, sometimes or mostly not. So here we see our uh, landing. Nose uh, way too high. And there we uh, touch down. There we go. So that was our uh, landing, guys. So, um, Peter, where are you uh, located? Because now I only see this plane here, the Faroe Islands. That's the one that I see. And uh, the rest is totally empty. I see a plane right here. No, nothing from planes anymore here. So, uh, Peter, uh, right there is an Airbus uh, left of me. So, that's the only plane that I see at the moment. And you, uh, Joe, you are reversing. Well, look at me, uh, next time I can uh, fly with you. That's uh, me, uh, Airbus A320. Uh, Peter, where you before the stream? A long time, like 30 minutes for before the stream. Where you also in in the on the same airport at our departure airport before the stream? You were there or not? Because this is the same plane that I saw uh, in the beginning before the stream that was parked next to me the night uh, first two digits of all uh alt multiplayer it's by three and then added uh 10 for the win yes yes more than an half an hour yeah then i don't know but i saw that plane before the stream it was parked next to me but uh, you have Volanto now, so I can next time uh, if you fly with us, then I see immediately that uh, who is who, and uh, that it, if you are parked next to me or uh, not. So that uh, makes it a bit easier to recognize. So guys, uh, tomorrow we do a flight in uh, Australia, no, in uh, New Zealand actually. Uh, that's what we uh, do tomorrow. So we fly from uh, Auckland to Christchurch and the, uh, in the 737-800. That's our uh, flight for tomorrow. Uh, for tomorrow morning, um, maybe a stream at the airport. But um, yeah, I'm expecting packages and stuff uh, that I need. So yeah. Now, Volanta is hanging on your PC. Uh, for me, it's still breaking. And what I see... Do I see something? I see myself on the runway, but I don't see you. I don't see anyone anymore in Curaçao, Wilmstad. Joe, uh, with Global Solutions, uh, can you check your uh, server in case the, that changed uh, for some reason? 
I don't think so that it, it changed. Um, wait. Because uh, I saw the other uh, people. Um, how we need to do that? Where is the server? Here is the server West Europe. So that uh, is still the same. Status online. So, yeah. A clear night uh, example altitude to 34,000, you multiply it by 34, uh, 34 by 3, uh, you get 102, you add 10, it will be uh, 112. And on 102 uh, uh, away, you start your descent. Peter, I uh, will uh, not be there, I'm back uh, the week after uh, next week. Okay, no problem. So every week there are flights so enough time to uh, join and joe and uh, let's try going offline and uh, back online okay we will try that so we go on offline and then we go online and then we check resume and still the same So I see Peter now, uh, that's the only one, and I can see myself there, and that is it. And I was expecting actually a much more beautiful airport. But uh, yeah, it's a bummer. But there are really nice uh, airports in this region. So guys, um, I will I'll leave you here uh, for tonight. It's already 12:17. Uh, I need to wake up at six. By the time I am in my bed, it's one o'clock. So I have five hours uh, to sleep. All right. So um, sorry, it was uh, one call. Okay. So guys, thanks for joining, thanks for flying, thanks for watching, and thanks for the support as always. Also, uh, thanks for chatting, always uh, nice to have you here. And I uh, hope to see you uh, tomorrow or Saturday or next week, whenever it uh, is uh, good for you. So thanks for joining, have a wonderful night, sleep well, enjoy your day for the people that uh, still have a day to go. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Peter, I was asleep in this morning at uh, 5 a.m. local time. Oh, that's uh, pretty late or pretty early. Uh, there's a good night. Oh, I had a 14 hour flight. Oh, I cannot do that. I, I wish I could do that as well. Uh, but for me, it's just not working out. Um, you know, I have a kid. Uh, need to take care of that. I need to sleep. I need to work. I need to whatever. There's always something to do. So I need to wake up at six o'clock every day. Um, yeah, there's so many things to do. Peter, see you all. Uh, bye bye. Okay, uh, have a wonderful night. Sleep well and uh, see you next time. Dexter, have a wonderful night. Uh, sleep well and uh, enjoy whatever you do. Joe, uh, thanks, David, and uh, good night, everyone. Uh, no problem, Joe. Have a wonderful night, and uh, see you next time. And uh, Dexter, thank you for flying. No problem, mate. You know that. So, uh, Alba Pino, but he's already gone. Uh, if not, also for you, a wonderful night. And he needs to work tomorrow morning. So, yeah. Peter uh, start uh, such flight autopilot on and let it fly and uh, of course but my autopilot is not working <laughs> I've always things like that so <laughs> for me that don't work but yeah I, I see what you mean uh, before I did that uh, for the bit longer flights uh, when I was not streaming but yeah, at the moment um, it's a bit uh, useless for me uh, to do that uh, in that way but yeah, we'll see what the time brings so so guys thank you for watching and see you next time and uh, enjoy what you do all right see you guys bye bye
Peter, take the A330. Yep, I can do that. I'll think about it. Good night, uh, all. Bye bye. So, see you guys. Bye bye.